Hello everybody, Grandpa Jake here from Funtime Grandpa. I want to talk to you a little bit about my Iris Plus and it's made by 3D Robotics. I'm not going to go into all the technical aspects because I'm trying to help the beginner pilot that wants to get into this hobby and also be able to advance without having to invest in much more equipment. And the Iris Plus is definitely in that category. It allows you to basically fly out of the box and you can do that with uh, the controller that's included and not worry about any of the ground, um, ground software or other apps if that's all you want to do. If you want to take it to the next level and do autonomous flying then and, and also some other changes within the, the aspects of, of the inner workings of the IRIS, you can use a program called Mission Planner and also a portable app on the Android which is called the Tower app and both of these allow you to program courses you can actually send it out right from the ground just by hitting the start it will go off on its mission and when it's done it will return land shut off and when you get into the Tower app it's got a couple really neat features and you can check on some of my videos I've done some with these features there's one called a droney everybody knows what a selfie is this is a droney and basically you program where you are and you send it off lifts up goes out keeps you on camera the entire time comes back lands shuts off the other one is the follow me or lead me or above me uh, feature which wherever this phone is it's going to continually track it. It's going to fly, whether it's following, leading, or straight above. It's actually going to follow the Android device and the whole time keep the camera on that subject, which is really a cool, cool idea. Um, getting back to Mission Planner real quick, you can plot your courses. You can also see, and this can, is all adjustable, all your telemetry. You can see ground speed, distance, altitude. But what I really like about it, and this actually saved one of my other drones, I had a little 250 with an APM 2.6, and that's the controller. And I was playing around with it, and I, I shouldn't have sent it up, but I did. It was a windy day, and I had an issue, and it flew away. It was nighttime, no way I was going to get it back. So I went back to my data log, and I looked at the track, found out where it last reported, took those longitude and latitudes and put it in my handheld GPS, traveled through some woods, and about a half a mile from my house, I found it sitting there. A couple little things broken, but not much. And the fact is, I was able to find it. It was within, I'd say, 10 feet of where it had told me it was, and that's only because it rolled down the hill. But it's an amazing piece of um, software, and th these are things you can use as you get more familiar with your iris. But for the person who just wants to take it out of the box, get a gimbal, and put a GoPro camera in, it is fantastic. Because you can fly, and the whole time, you'd be videoing everything and anything that's under that camera. If you want to take it one step further, and 3D Robotics does sell a whole kit for this, it's called FP, FPV, First Person View. And for mine, I've got a little transmitter off to the side here, and i got a set of goggles. So when I have the goggles on, I'm actually looking outside the camera, and whatever the camera sees, I see. So you can send it out on an autonomous little flight, and the whole time still keep watching it through the uh, goggles, which is pretty cool. Or you can um, use a monitor, which uh, is also another way of doing it. So it's, it's open to so many things. But how it comes from the factory is, is great. Now this one came with a gimbal, and you can get it without the gimbal and just mount a GoPro right underneath the area here. It's not as stable, but still, you know what, you can get away fairly cheap doing it that way. But with the gimbal, what's nice about the gimbal, no matter which way it turns, this is going to stay stable, no matter which way, um, whether you, you know, roll, pitch, whatever, it's going to stay nice and stable, almost looks like a tripod up in the sky. The other thing that the iris comes with is telemetry, and here's the telemetry antenna here, and what that does, that sends all the information 
back to your ground station or right to your controller. Your controller, and this is really nice what 3D has done, is they've set telemetry in here. So I can see my battery level, which is very important. I can see how many, G, how many GPS signals it's getting and a number of other uh, pieces of information that's very helpful as you're flying. So you don't need to have a ground station. You don't even need to have the Android app. Those are just things you can get in the future. You can actually fly right from here, be very educated on what it's doing by the information that's being sent back. You get, it, it depends on how you're using it. With each battery, you get anywhere from 12, 15 minutes of flight with the gimbal, maybe a little bit more. A lot of people change batteries and try different things. I've been very happy with the batteries that come from 3D Robotics. I believe it's a 5100, 5100 milliamp battery and they've been very dependable. So I'm happy with that amount of time. Trust me, 12 minutes of flying, that's quite a bit of time when you're, you're you know, sending it out and doing different things. So I just wanted to let everybody know, I think it's a fantastic piece of equipment. It's very stable, very dependable, and very, very flexible so that when you advance yourself, it's ready for you. You can take it, send it on missions, and do all the things I mentioned before. It's pretty neat. I did add a little light on here. The only reason I do that is if I get it a little further away from me, I can't tell sometimes which directions it's at. You can with the telemetry and that, but I like to visually see it. So the light helps me know when it's uh, pointing my way, if I'm doing more more flying than, than missions. And uh, I can show you the underneath here a little bit, but if you didn't have the gimbal, there's a mount right under here that will hold a GoPro camera. And you've got lights, of course, under each of the, the arms, which is also nice to, to help you see. And the way it's set up, you really get a good view without being disrupted with uh, the arms or the props getting in the way of your uh, video and photos depending on what settings you have on your camera. So I just want to let you know that 3D Robotics has been phenomenal with support. You're going to see people that have had problems. A lot of them are self-induced. Some of them are equipment. But that happens with anything, especially something that flies. Get yourself together a pre-flight checklist. Get yourself together a little sheet. God forbid you have an issue and you need to flip a button. Have it in your mind which button you want to flip so you can take control and bring it back safely. Uh, there is a, and you find this on many of them, it's got a return to home, which is nice. So if you did panic, you flip it down, it should come right back to where you are and you can actually flip a button and land it. And again, this is all flexible on what you want these switches to do. But it's a great piece of equipment. Mostly the 3D Robotics people, the company themselves, very, very state-of-the-art, and they're there should you have an issue, no matter what it be, whether it be something you did on your own or something that just happens with the equipment. They're there. They respond to you. You don't have to wait uh, days and weeks or wonder if even anybody's going to help you. They're going to be there. So don't hesitate to get yourself an Iris Plus. I think it's a fantastic piece of equipment. And like I said, it's set up for the beginner pilot. As long as you do, what, what's most important is watch a lot of videos, read about it, understand it, fly it in your mind before you take it out for that first flight. And I always believe when I am going to power and get off the ground, give it some good throttle. Get it off quick. Don't hesitate because you don't want it to drag and flip. Get it off the ground and once you're up there, enjoy it. Go slow. It's not designed for racing. You don't want it as a racer. You want it for just a nice, stable, autonomous type video photo copter. So from Grandpa Jake, I wish you all the best. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write. Take care. Bye-bye.